Hi, welcome to Donsky Tech. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a demo on how we can control our 12 volt solenoid door lock with our Raspberry Pi. I have here in my setup my 12 volt solenoid door lock connected to our relay module, my Raspberry Pi, and my external power source, which will power our solenoid door lock. What we are going to do in our program is to toggle the locking and unlocking mechanism by moving the metal slug or armature of our solenoid door lock. Let us go over to our terminal and execute the code. So to execute the code, let's type in Python and then solenoid lock and then click enter. Once we executed our program, as you can see, the metal slug is moving horizontally every one second, meaning the locking and unlocking mechanism is being triggered by our Raspberry Pi Python program. Would you like to know how I did this? Then let's start exploring. Before we start looking at the program that powers the solenoid door lock, let us first discuss a little bit about its components. So a solenoid door lock contains the following parts. So we have here the metal casing which contains the coils inside that powers the unlocking and locking mechanism. The armature or the metal slug which we connect with the door lock mechanism that we have in our uh, homes or cabinets and the power wires. The power wires usually is in the range of 9 volts to 12 volts and it, it is much better to power the solenoid door lock with an external power supply. Here is the wiring and schematic diagram that we're going to use. As you can see, we're using a power relay in driving our solenoid door lock. The reason why is that the output, the max output of our Raspberry Pi is only 5 volts, but the solenoid door lock requires a 9 volts to 12 volts input value. So what we did is that using the external circuitry of our relay, then we will drive the locking and unlocking mechanism of our 12 volts solenoid door lock. In terms of the wiring, just follow the table that I have outlined here so that you would know how to connect the three components. And now let's discuss a little bit about the program that will run our, that will drive our solenoid door lock. So it really is just simple. As you can see, I just defined the relay pin which, which is connected to our relay and then set it into an output mode. And using the looping mechanism of Python, we just turn on the GPIO by setting the value of the relay pin into 1 and then we try to sleep after 1 second. And then after turning it on, we turn it off by passing 0 in here and then we sleep again for 1 second. We just continually turn on and turn off the program every one second. And that's really how simple the program is in controlling our solenoid door lock. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring! 